Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Chargers. So today, got a road to the show game. It is my, I want to say third installment. Probably. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, in today's episode, it will be my last game before I finish my first advancement goals. So let's go on ahead and let's see what I have to complete. Alright, I got those two done. Looks like now I need to keep my next game under 10 hits and then do not give up any hits pretty much is what's going on here. So let's just go ahead and get this game started. I see my record up there. I'm 2-1 and one. with the one three three ERA. That's fairly good. But that one loss I did get was not my fault necessarily. I gave up a, one, a run or two, and my offense could not score. So there's really nothing you can do if you pitch a good game. So, yeah, this would be my fourth game of the season. Hopefully I can get my record up to 3-1. and one. I'm trying to make a run for the All-Star game. That's always fun to make. You get to, you get to play against the best of the best but not really because no one re even remembers who these guys are so here are first pitch a great way to start off a game is a strike a great sunny day in today's road to the show game let's let's try to finish this game quick hopefully for I can get to talking more about what I plan on doing with this player in the future so I get a lot of questions about how do you uh, make it to the pros, how do you get called up. Well, the main thing is that just complete all your goals. Usually, if you don't complete one, that, that'll that be fine. You don't have to complete all of them necessarily. Just try to get all. But even if you don't get one, it shouldn't be too much of an effect. Also, keep your stats good, whether you're a batter or a pitcher. You want to have lots of wins, uh, lots of strikeouts, and just be good in every uh, single statistic because they all matter. When you're batting, same thing applies there. You want to get be a base hitter. Base is it, what? I don't know. You just want to get on base. Oh, I just walked a guy. Damn it. Uh, yeah, you just want to be able to make your player an impact player. Whether or not he's a power hitter uh, doesn't necessarily make or break you. And he's going for second. I forgot to watch him. Another big factor getting called up is what team you're on. Generally, if you're on the Yankees, the Red Sox, the Dodgers, just any really good team team year round your chances are going to be lowered considering all the great players that are on that team so if you're on a bad team like the Padres the Pirates the Indians you have a way better chance of getting called up because they need oh my god another hit because they need better players to help make their team so don't be surprised, actually, if you do get traded a lot. That happened to me a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot in my other players. I'll be doing great. I'll be the best best player on their minor league team, and they'll still trade me. Just you can't control it. You really can't. So it doesn't really matter if you get traded, except for the team fact. You just still got to play your best. I am struggling here right now. Uh, what? No, I forgot to analog. Damn it. I just gave up a run. Oh my gosh. I was pressing X, trying to throw the home, and I messed up. I messed up. That's not good. Was it still the first inning? Jeez, I gotta get out of this jam right now. Otherwise, I am in trouble. Hopefully, I don't roll out a hit. There we go. There's a strike. Here we go. Gotta get the strike out right here. Ah, oh, 
Uh, I don't know about that. I kind of caught the corner there, but whatever. These umpires never give me good calls. Just foul. Here we go. This is it. Strikeout. Nope. Uh, I didn't get that either. I was a little bit low, but still, he could have called it. There we go. Finally out of the inning. Not too much damage done. Only one hit. Wow, that's... Wow. Oh, and we got the air, so that's good. That's good. That'll help me a little bit. Hopefully they scored, and they did not. Mm -mm -mm. It's early, so I can still get the win. Now, personally, when I work on my stats, I generally try to work on my fastball first. With the velocity and with the lo location, trying to make sure it's accurate in the control. There we go. Nice change up there. Inside corner. He's out. Now, also, with the hitting attributes, I generally try to keep them updated. I won't always... Uh, train them every single week just when they're needed at the like last second before they start to go down that keeps my player overall talent uh, decently high nice ground ball oh no oh there goes another error. Uh, looks like it's going to be a long season with these bad fielders. That should have been an out. Oh well. I am in another jam here. Just because of an error. I wonder if that last run they scored wasn't earned. Probably was. Who knows. I won't see till after the game. But this game is taking quite a while. I gotta try to hurry up and finish this one. Oh, with a nice curveball. He's out. I believe that's my third K of the game. But yeah, um, what I tend to work on is just accuracy control. Like the velocity. The movement, I don't really care too much about. Especially for the fastball. Movement doesn't help at all. Now, people have also asked how you get to 100 mile per hour fastballs. And I believe the best way to do that is just get your velocity up on every single pitch and also train your pitcher's arm strength. I believe that should get him up to 100. I can't guarantee that, but it's like no other way. But if you do get just your fastball velocity to 99, that won't increase it to 100 mile per hour fastballs. You have to have every pitch. 99 I believe that have a fast fastball and there goes the, the next inning eight minutes through here taking quite a while looks like they're gonna keep me in this game for a long time hopefully I'll have to cut this game up and that was a strike and once again umpire just not giving me any calls here I was right down the heart of the plate it's actually yeah, it depends which way you're looking. That should be strike three, but nope. That first one was a ball. So let's go for this curveball. Low and inside. Oh, did he go? Nope. Guess not. Damn, this guy does not want to go down. Umpire doesn't want to let him go down either. There we go. So, I'd like to give a shout out right now to Pitiful Karma Z. Check out his YouTube channel at youtube.com slash P-I-T-I Karma Z. Karma with a K, just for you know. He's got some interesting RPG games, some interesting Street Fighter games if you're into that. And he does some okay commentaries. He's new to the business, but he's, he's learning and he's progressing slowly, so... He could be a star one of these days. Please note that he is an African American. So if you are offended by that, do not go to his channel. And also, his channel isn't necessarily like a black gangster type theme. It's more like just your 
your anime type fan. So, th those who also like anime, go ahead and check out his channel. He's more of a manga guy, actually, but so uh, he watches anime and hentai. So, what the hell? Yeah, for those of you who do not know what hentai is, well, if you're old enough, you can Google it. If you're not, don't even don't even try to know what it is. It's, it's you're too young. Oh, just for you know, Pitiful Karma is of age, so he can legally watch the videos because he lives in a state where gay marriage is legal. So if you are a fan of gay marriage, go ahead and check out his channel. If you're not, just stop by and say, I'm, I feel sorry for you. That would be a nice thing to do. Also, go check out Scoped and Shot, X Scoped and Shot. I'm not sure what channel he's going by now. I think it's X Scoped and Shot. He makes some, he makes some good... MLB the show videos too and with another strikeout sweet but with him he also plays baseball so that that helps he knows quite a bit at least he thinks he does that guy just ran through me what the hell alright so I'll take a little time right now to tell you guys a little bit about my personal life uh, currently right now I am attending a high school. I'm not going to say which one. <laughs> I am currently a junior in that school that I attend. So yes, I am not 21 years old. I am a minor, technically. Also, I've lived in the same city, San Diego, hell yeah, for my entire life, so that's awesome. Oh yeah, I'm go back to that school thing. I get out of school on the June 6th, so hopefully I'll make some more videos this summer if I'm not too busy. I don't know if I'm going to play uh, lacrosse, which I played this year for the first time. I might play Summer League lacrosse, maybe, maybe not. I used to play baseball back, I did not want to catch that, back when I was from kindergarten up to 7th grade. I, I loved it, it was fun, but I was always on the bad team, except for one year. It was my last year, and uh, we were the best team in the division, but we blew the last game of the season, and then we ended up losing the division title, and we went on to the playoffs still, or some type of, like, San Diego area playoff, and we just got crushed. We just fell apart at the end of the season there. That sucked. So, yeah, haven't played baseball since with another strikeout. But, yeah, I tried to look across this year for the first time. It was all right. It was all right. Um... It was easier to understand the basics compared to baseball. With baseball, you gotta be able to have good hand-eye coordination with catching and hitting and, and good arm accuracy and strength. With lacrosse, you gotta be uh, you gotta be, I guess, okay with your hand-eye because you gotta use a stick and catch the ball in the stick. So that's kind of interesting. It's different. Instead of having the actual pocket in your hand, you have it on a stick. So with me, I play defense. So I get a long stick. It's about six foot tall. So that, it's actually uh, easier to throw a good pass with the long stick compared to the short one, which most attack use. Because you can just get a good grip on it and just, just launch it. So thank God I don't play attack because... That's just too much running, and you get hit a lot more on attack. So. All right, enough about lacrosse. Now this is a baseball game, but if you are interested, go ahead and play it. It's one of the fastest growing sports in America. So, uh, yeah, this game is is going so slow right now honestly what's well, been 14 minutes I gotta try to hurry up and finish this game otherwise I won't be able to upload it and I'll have to split it which takes even longer no one likes to do that oh damn we got a 1-1 score here I just noticed that my team is so bad I never get any run support unless I don't play they seem to score quite a bit of runs when I'm not starting but when I do start they're terrible. They are terrible. I actually forgot. No, that's right. It's a White Sox organization. White Sox are. They're okay with the pitching. 
so I'm probably not going to get called up anytime soon. Jeez, that's going to suck. So I'll probably get traded, actually. It looks like everyone's getting pissed off over there on the Biscuits. No clue what organization the Biscuits are part of because I've never really even heard of them. Damn. Up oh, there goes the hit. I gotta check my goals right now. See what I'm at. Hopefully, I'm still under 10 hits in this game. I'm sure I am. Check them out real quick. Alright, alright. I give up six more hits and I'm fine. I threw five innings. Uh, see, there goes another pitch that should have been a strike. Yeah, that was an exact same spot. Okay, okay. Not really exact, but same level. Alright, here we go. There we go. Let's get this track out and get out of this inning. This inning has been long. Not necessarily a lot of pitches long. Oh. Okay, uh, that that's a ball. Sure, I'll give it to him. Damn. 16 minutes here. Yeah, it looks like they're going to keep me in the entire game. I don't know why they always do that. Whether or not you're tired or not, they will always try to keep you in. Apparently, they like to hurt their young pitchers and break their arms off. It's still a tie game. Crap. You know, I just want my team to score, and then I want my coach to take me out. Unfortunately, you can't ask him to take you out. You just got to pitch the entire game. That's cool, though, I guess. Uh, that might have caught the corner. I guess not. <laughs> oh, yep, he went. That's a definite. He went. Watch this. Oh, I knew it. Oh crap, that's that's gonna be trouble. And there goes a double. Maybe it'll take me out now. Uh or not. I have got oh crap. Throw it throw it. Sweet. I forgot how to throw it. Oh, just for you guys know, uh Ryan Mack, a.k.a. Scoped and Shot, has a friend named Cade Duvall, whose father is currently not in good health. I would ask you to donate money, but I'm sure that's probably illegal, so I'm not going to do that. But if you do want to donate money, don't donate to me. Donate to Ryan Mack, a.k.a. Scoped and Shot. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold that thought because apparently I just got news that he passed away this morning. Let's take this moment of silence to acknowledge his, his short-lived unfortunate... Oh, wait. What the hell? I have the ball somehow. Why did I slide? Why did he slide? Was he taking me out? What's going on? All right, sweet. I'm out. All right, that's great. I don't know why he took me out, but okay. Thanks. I was actually like having a decent game. I thought I was gonna stand for another two innings. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, we lost. See, all right, guys, whatever. Let's hope I can get through this. I'm running out of time. So I pitched six innings. Could have gone longer, but I don't know why they took me out. That was odd. 1.09 ERA. So. Pretty good. You got some good stats there for throughout the season. Saving. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's uh, fast forward here a couple of days. Let's skip that train. I don't care about it. Oh, uh, looks like I did not get called up. That sucks. Let's see what my coach says. Uh, looks like I am staying put for now. That guy's a dick. All right, so um, see you guys on the next episode. Actually, no, hold up. Yeah, 
before I go, I'm just going to add one pitch to my repertoire, or whatever you call it. Or, where is that? Edit, no. Edit player, no. It would be in, I totally forgot, training, right? No. Yeah, training, here we go. That new pitch will be... Eight, no, I'm jer jerking. No, I'm joking, what the hell? It will be a knuckleball. Here we go. Yes. Alright guys, so stay tuned for my next game. I have a knuckleball now. Let's see how I can work that pitch. Maybe I can be one of the best knuckleball pitchers alive. Alright, till next time, I'm Chargers. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment.